Hello, I want to thank you for listening today to the Hope Biblical Counseling Center broadcast. My name is Dr. Terry Coomer, and I'm the director of Hope Biblical Counseling Center. And today I'm going to talk to you about, let's talk about courage to make change. Okay, let's talk about courage to make change. One of our greatest desires is, is that you would be encouraged in the Lord. And in my daily time with God, uh, in his word today, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about uh, the need to encourage uh, or to have courage. And this has been a subject in our biblical counseling program that we find is an issue for those who come for biblical counseling. Do you have the courage to change your life? Or are you going to continue to live a destructive life? Now, I want, to, I want you to think with me for a few minutes today. People know that they have issues, and, but they lack the courage to change. And nobody's going to change unless they want to change. And right now, you know, has, has been a very difficult time with the pandemic. And there's a lot of different things that have taken place. You know, lives lost, jobs lost. Fear, distrust, despair, discouragement, and not knowing what the future holds. And some people are still going through some of that. And yet there are people who, uh, in their everyday life, uh, they, know, they, they want things to change, but they just don't know how to do it. And, but they, first of all, lack the courage to make the real changes that need to be made in their life. Now, in this video... I want to give you a real life example. Now, um, several years ago, uh, we uh, we met a, a person who uh, was greatly struggling in their life, and um, my my wife Kim and I met a young lady who was severely struggling and living in squalor struggling financially with small children and uh, unfortunately a deadbeat husband who would not hold a job. And she had grown up in a home with an alcoholic father, a mother who left when she was two, and stepmother who told her she was not wanted and she was a mistake who no one wanted. She was told this by her stepmother for, for more than 40 years. While growing up, she was only allowed to bathe and brush her teeth once a week, and she grew up in a domestic violence situation and and married domestic violence, and she took the brunt of uh, the domestic violence at home. With severe self-esteem issues, it would be hard to overcome. Now, we had the opportunity to lead her to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Now, folks, I want you to understand the most important decision you're ever going to make in your life is to receive Jesus Christ as Savior. You need to realize that you're a sinner and you ask Jesus to, uh, you turn from yourself, you turn from your sins, and that's what change is really about. You turn from yourself, you turn from your sins, and you ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and to come into your heart and be your Savior. You have to repent, turn from yourself and turn from your sins. And so you ask Jesus to come into your heart and be your Savior. And the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Didn't say might be, didn't say possibly could be, said shall be saved. So, you know, uh, we had the opportunity to lead her to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Uh, two youngest children were in fourth and sixth grade, didn't know how to read. And so I remember when my wife came uh to me sobbing and told me that she needed to talk to me about helping the children who could not read. And she wanted to know if I would pray about her teaching these children how to read. Now, my wife had a broken heart for these children and this young mother and her struggles. And it took uh, my wife three years to teach those children to read when their educational system had told them that they were unteachable. But she succeeded. Both, And so... Uh, you know, the, the educational system said the best they could do for them was to, uh, you know, teach them social skills like learn how to wash their clothes. They'd been, de they'd been deemed unteachable. I remember the mother coming to my office at the church 
and asking Kim and I if we would consider allowing her to enter our biblical counseling program. She stood in my office and she cried profusely. So please just give me a chance. I'll do whatever I need to do to change. I want, I just want to change my life. Now, you know, she had, uh, you know, a very uh, difficult life growing up and a very difficult life at home. And it took a lot of courage for her to come and share her heart and need that day. We knew this was going to be a huge challenge, but we knew that if a person has the courage to desire to change and grow, uh, God will honor that. And she made the effort. Now, that didn't mean that it wasn't difficult, and it didn't mean that there were skid marks along the way. And I remember asking her many times, why did you make that decision? Her response was always to, to be, uh, well, I thought this or that. And my response was, did you ask God about that before you made that decision? And of course, uh, many times it took small steps here, you know, just small steps at a time. It all started because she really wanted to change and had the courage to ask for help and put herself in a position to be held accountable and submit herself to God and to her counselors. And she learned how to have a real, intimate, personal, and passionate relationship with God. And when a person learns how to have a real, learns how to be a spirit-controlled person submitting to God, rather than circumstances and emotion-led, nothing is impossible. Do you know the Bible says in Luke chapter 1 and verse 37, for with God nothing shall be impossible? So, you know, folks, listening to me carefully now, what is your greatest fear today? What is your greatest challenge today? Have the courage to step out and face it by the power of God. The devil doesn't want you to change. God's desire is that you will grow and change. There's no better day than today to step out and to start uh, to be real with God and allow him to really work in your life. Now, I want to share something else with you. And maybe you're listening to this video and, you know, you're kind of skeptical and, you know, you're not sure that you have that courage. But let me point this out to you. Others have had to face great challenges. You're not by yourself. You know, in this particular instance, we worked with this person and it took her six years. And, and uh, she talks about it today uh, in a way that is, it was a, it was a challenge. It took a long time. But the reality was is that she's made great change. And she recently uh, gave her testimony in one of our meetings. Now, she's been living for God for quite a while now, many years. And uh, she's uh, an active member of her local church and uh, is influencing a number of, of young girls to uh, not live a life like she lived. And even if their circumstances are hard and even if their circumstances are not uh, conducive to uh, a, a life that is, uh, to, it, it, not conducive to a life that is, uh, one that's going to be, uh, used for God. Remember this, God is the God of hope and he wants you today to have hope in your life. And maybe you're in a marriage that's fallen apart. Maybe you're, uh, a person who has uh, you know, you're in addiction situations or you're in a po position that you are struggling. Now, maybe you think you can't change your life today. No one changes things. Uh, no one changes who thinks that they do not need to do so or really does not want to. Now, keep that in mind. Yet God's desire for you today. Now, listen to me. God's desire for you today and for every person is to change, to be conformed to the image of his son, Jesus Christ. Biblical long-term change is certainly uh, available to you today. 
Now, you know, the, one of the great um, stories of the Bible for me has been the life of the Apostle Peter. Now, as you study the Bible and you look at his life, you can see him in the Gospels being a, a very impetuous individual. I mean, he spoke first and thought second, you know, and open mouth and inserted foot quite a bit. And in fact, he said to the Lord Jesus that he would never, uh, he would never uh, be the one who would uh, uh, deny him. And yet, Jesus said before the cock crows, you're going to deny me three times. And he did. But, you know, if we saw Peter's life in there, it would have been a sad story. But Peter is a great example of someone that really made biblical long-term change in his life. When we come down to the books of First and Second Peter, Peter is the guy who is encouraging Jewish Christians who are being murdered daily by bloody Nero. And, you know, he was trying to encourage, encourage people that their homes were being burnt, their uh, children be taken away and killed, and they were being killed. And, and uh, you know, he, he made some very, very important points about, you know, that, that you can, even in the great challenges you can see God work in your life in a powerful way. So the la and the, in First and Second Peter were the last words of the Apostle Peter, and the last words of the Apostle Peter before he died was to challenge people who were under great persecution to not give up on change. Now, yes, you can do it by the power of God. Watch what he says here with the final recorded words of his life. In Second Peter three eighteen, the Bible says, "But grow in grace." And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Growing means changing. Growing takes courage. And one of my favorite Bible characters is Joshua. And when a man, what a man of courage that Joshua was. You know, God told him to follow Moses and to deal with these rebellious Israelites. And he would have to have courage, God told him. You know, and sometimes when you have to, when you lead, you got to have courage. But just taking a step forward might mean you've got to have courage. And God's promise to him is if he had the courage, he would be with him. Now, it's the same promise to you and to me today. And Joshua, listen to this. In Joshua chapter 1 and verse 6, the Bible says, Be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide an inheritance, uh, uh, an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from the right hand or the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. And he said this in verse 8, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that's written therein. For then shalt, uh, then shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. Now, verse 9 is another challenge. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So God told him to get in the Bible, meditate upon it, and do not depart from it. Be strong, have courage, and be not afraid, and I will be with you, God said. Now, maybe you're sitting here today and you're thinking, ah, nothing can really change in my life. Yes, it can, if you'll have the courage to get help, and we're here to help you. And there are other good biblical counsels out there that are, that are there to help you. So God wants you to change, and he wants you to have the courage to do it. And so if you're looking, if you're listening to this video, and you're really struggling in your life, and you're wondering if, if you know, what life has for you, you know, right now, think about having some courage. You know, what happened to our young lady, okay? 
The young lady who said, stood in my office that day and said, I'll do whatever I need to do to make change in my life because I am certainly tired of this and I want my life to change. Dramatic, biblical, long-term change for the honor and glory of God. Today, she works for a major cell phone company in the United States. She's the top person in an office of several hundred. She owns her own home and recently purchased a new car. When we met her, she lived in squalor with no furniture. Spiritually, she's faithful, a faithful, growing, and serving person in her local church, heavily involved in her local church, serving with a sacrificial spirit, She's a delight to be around spiritually. Her real spiritual desire is infectious, and her positive spirit is an encouragement. In the past year, she's been able to see several uh, young people come to know Jesus Christ, and, and adults come to know Jesus Christ as a Savior, and she is heavily involved in discipleship of the new converts and others who really want to make biblical long-term change and to live a spirit-controlled life. It all started, ladies and gentlemen, with courage, the courage to make change. Courage shows bravery. It shows valor and refers, and refers qualities of spirit and conduct. Courage permits one to face extreme dangers and difficulties without fear or lose courage. Bravely impri or bravery implies true courage with daring and intrepid boldness. Bravery in a battle. Now, Joshua had it, and so did our young lady here. She's not a young lady now. She's a, a mature adult, and God encouraged them and, held them and helped them to be all that they could be for him. You know, God helped Joshua. God helped Peter, and God can do that for you as well. Determine to move forward today, and if you need help to do so, feel free to contact us. We have the material to help you. And remember, be the vessel that God can use today by asking the Holy Spirit to show you if you're living your life and not dealing with your, your sins or your lusts. Are you living in the sin of allowing selfish, carnal thinking or listening to rule your life and making you react or rationalize your sin? Therefore, you're afraid to have the courage to change. Maybe you're afraid because you don't know how to change. Well, that can be fixed. Be all you can be for him today and have a powerful testimony of living a spirit-controlled, yielded, godly life that is serving and living with humility, joy, and peace. We encourage you today to make Jesus Christ real in your life by humbly yielding to him at the point of impact. And you're going to have many impact moments in your life. Not the life of selfish, carnal thinking and speaking. It is an important choice. Tell God you want to yield yourself to him today and be a trusting, useful, and rewarded servant. Be the person who wants to change. Be the person who can help others change. Don't be the person who talks the talk but does not walk the walk. Uh, and so I want to encourage you now. May we all humble ourselves before God and focus on having compassion on others. And that's one of the things that we have here is compassion to help people make biblical long-term change. So seek it. Seek real biblical change in your life. And may we all desire, have the desire to make real biblical long-term change to honor and glorify God. And you know what? We're here to help. And if we can't help, just feel free to contact us. Uh, you can go to our website, HopeBiblicalCounselingCenter.com. And you know, God wants you to have a great day today. He wants you to have hope in your life. Romans 15, 13 says that God is the God of hope. And he is. And he wants you to have hope in your life. Now, we're going to take the Bible, skillfully help people. We do that. We take the Bible and skillfully use it to help people make biblical long-term change in their lives. No matter what your situation is, if you have the courage it can change. May God bless you today. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. And as you're, as you're thinking about that aspect of change, don't be afraid. Don't allow yourself to talk yourself out of getting the help that you need. Seek help today. Move forward in your life instead of just sitting there and being miserable. God wants to help you today. 
and he wants you to have the courage to step out and do so. God bless you, and may the Lord encourage you in your life today.